Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm gonna get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and welcome back and thank you to everybody who's been following me on this journey Stating in 2019 that I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt as my New Year's resolution and doing a weekly video, which I was able to do, still growing strong. It is July 1st, and I can't even believe it, and um, of 2020, 20, or 2021, and um and last year was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself and others. And this year was to break up with sugar, processed sugar. So I'm still broken up with processed sugar. Um, I still want it, but I, every time I'm like scared to have it now because it's been so long since I haven't had it. And I keep telling you guys, the benefits are outweighing the side effects that I had, but I still think my benefits should be bigger and more noticeable. And they're not, but they're enough to keep going. So processed sugar and I are still broken up, which is great. The fear, shame, and guilt thing, so much better, but it, you know, it's still there. It, it's something that I was born with. It's something that has been in my family for generations. So breaking up with fear, shame, and guilt, I think was, is the hardest breakup. And I shared before, it has been like a stalker. Um, however, the more I talk out loud, the less it is. And, you know, I was talking last week in my videos about, or in my video about being consistent and part of being consistent and successful with keeping going is accountability, support, and speaking out loud. That has been three things that are working for me. So um, I wanted to talk to you guys this week. What came to me today about was um, what things are as opposed to what they look like. So what um, things look like versus what is really going on. And, you know, for me, I was brought up in a house where I was told I was ungrateful. I was never happy with anything. And, um, and that, you know, I'm really picky and I'm a pain and all of these things. And as I've gotten older, I realized that that's shame. And, and I'm lifting that curse for my family. And I know God gave me this job, although it is not a job that I wanted, but I have it and now I'm learning to embrace it. So as I embrace this job that I never wanted, which is working for God, um, you know, when I ask for what I want, and I'm around people who aren't able to do that, I look picky. Instead of, I can ask for what I want and what I need. And when I'm around people who aren't able to do that, I look like there's something wrong with me instead of, Michelle can ask for what she wants and what she needs. And then also, 
say no when things aren't good. I just had, I had to get a dryer during this pandemic and I have never bought a dryer on my own and by myself. So it was a huge deal. I'm 49 years old. I'm a woman. I've, I've had a husband who we did this stuff together, but ultimately he picked stuff out and not right or wrong, just the way that it was. But this time I had to go buy a major appliance on my own by myself. I'm on my fourth dryer. The first three were brand new and all three of them were defective. And I felt like I'm a pain in the ass. I'm never happy with anything, but all of those things are not true. I got three brand new dryers and there was something wrong with every single one of them. And it was such a pain in the ass to keep going back to the store, to have them come and pick them up, to bring another one in. I actually got good at it and I went outside to the truck and checked the last one out before they even brought it in my house. So I'm learning and the dryer had nothing to do with me, but what it felt like is I'm really picky. I'm never happy with anything, which actually the fourth dryer is awesome and I love it. So I am, I am happy with things and things do make me happy when they're right. But when things aren't right for me, I can ask for what I want and ask for what I need. And I don't need to manipulate in order to get it. And unfortunately, we are in a world where um, a lot of people are taught to manipulate to get what they want and what they need. And, and I'm being taught, I don't need to do that anymore. However, when I'm not doing this anymore, I felt like I started to look crazy. I started to look like things aren't right with me when really things are right with me. I'm okay. And a lot of the people that I was with before, they couldn't ask for what they wanted and what they needed. So then it made me look like I'm really picky. So I'm allowed to be picky. I'm allowed to ask for what I want. I'm allowed to ask for what I need. And when my needs aren't being met, I need to move. And so the last thing is, you guys, you know, I'm on my third attorney for my car accident. Love her. And um, the first attorney I went to, I was, I went to a few doctors and I wasn't happy with them. And he said, you look like you're doctor shopping and tried to shame me, like there's something wrong with me. And guess what? I am doctor shopping. I'm shopping for the right doctor and, um, and I'm allowed to do that and I own it. And if I go to 10 doctors, I go to 10 doctors. It's because the first nine weren't right. And um, I'm owning that stuff. I'm owning my life and my choices and my decisions. And when things aren't good for me, I move. And a lot of people, when things aren't good for them, well, a lot of people, what I used to do is I would go to complain to every person, but the actual person that could do something about it. And I have learned not to do that anymore, to go straight to the source. And, and so, um, right now my source is God and, and he wants me to have the best today and always. And I believe that. So thank you so much for everybody who's watching, who's following me on this journey. I don't care if I look crazy or brave. I am fine with either. Oh, last thing guys, I am going to be on a podcast tonight. I'm so excited. Um, it's for spiritual leaders and I am one of them and I'm so excited. So look out for it's, um, Trey Downs and it's called your superior self. So I am going to be recording. They're going to be recording it tonight, but I don't think it's going to be out for a couple of months, but I'm really excited for that. So, um, stay tuned, stay safe, and I will see you all next week.